Following Missouri's victory over Oklahoma State, the Texas A&M Aggies arrived in Columbia for a game at Mizzou Arena. And when you look at teams like Missouri and in these two games with Oklahoma State and Texas A&M, you really appreciate how good this conference is. You know, other than just Kansas and Texas and some of the usual teams that we see at the top of the rankings, Mike. Well, that's what we talk about. It, this league is more than just Texas and Kansas. Right. And I think a lot people more. are going to see that. And they're going to see that as these teams start traveling to each other's venue, uh, uh, playing at the different arenas. And uh, so with that being said, I think it's one of the best leagues in the country. The Tigers... And the Aggies announced crowd of more than 11,000 for a Wednesday night game. These fans really uh, responding to Mike Anderson's success here at Missouri. And there's the senior captain, J.T. Tiller, scoring two Tiger points early. Uh, again, creating up our defense. Here we are, we touch the basketball. Uh, Kimmy pushes the ball down the floor, and Zaya just steps right into the mm -hmm. shot. And to me, that's the rhythm we talk about. That's you can tell the just by looking at it, can't the basketball. You? You're absolutely right. <laughs> Here's Justin Safford, and we got to get more of this here. Uh, Justin can give us that inside presence. I thought we did a better job in the first half as opposed to the second half. Here he attacks inside, and JT's the, the beneficiary of something that was a loose ball. This was a really interesting game, Coach. In both halves, both teams went, went back and forth. In other words, A&M had a big lead early, then you come back. Second half, we'll see, you have a lead, then they come back. It was really a give-and-take type game, and Sloan is very steady, isn't well, he? Well, he is. I, I think, uh, every time they, they needed something to, to take place, they went to Sloan. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a back screen by Keith Rams for J.T. Tiller, and Kimmy gives him the pass. And here's the guy we talk about again. There's Sloan with this attack to the basket. Yeah, he is really a strong guard, and as you pointed out, he had eight rebounds in addition to his 17 points from the guard spot. But there's uh, your southpaw again. Safford really had some nice moments. Uh, we talk about touching the basketball. Here's a Keith Ramsey on the steal, and we seem like we got a lot of energy going in that second half. We talk about the first five minutes of the second half. Uh, that's Bureau Keith. Uh, and, and, and we did came out with him. We scored baskets. Our defense was really engaged. Yeah, you were up one point at halftime, and then the second half stretched it out at one point to 48 to 39. And as Safford stroking that three ball from well, we, deep. We talk about walking into a three a transition, and here we are, uh, JT Tiller. He's the guy that <laughs> the heart and soul, and there he is inside getting getting a loose ball. That's the JT Tiller that we know of. That's right. It really yeah. is good for our team. That was a JT going to the basket. Cutting, slashing in there, finishing up with the dunk. Pretty basketball, and we see the recognition from Kim English to the cutter, Tiller, and he throws it down. Attack basketball is what we preach and talk about, and he attacked the basket. So you're up nine, but then the Aggies start uh, their run back. Look at Sloan just get in there and get that loose ball. Well, it was B.J. Holmes, actually, excuse me. Absolutely. I talked about that play being a big play because we made the guy stop, you know, missed a shot, and we didn't hustle and get the loose ball by that year. Now, you had gone for a cold spurt uh, in this second half, and Tiller scores there, but this is late in the game uh, when you're down by uh, a few points trying to rally back in the final minute because you've gone several minutes without a field goal, Coach. Well, we went like almost eight, nine minutes where we didn't hit a mm -hmm. field goal, and uh, that's pretty strange for us in Missouri Arena. And so, uh, with that being said, you really got to call upon your defense. Here, Kimmy knocks down a shot to cut it to one. Right. And, of course, the only thing is I thought we ran out of time. It's about 20 seconds. and. Uh, here's the shot at the buzzer to tie JT Tiller. Uh, we had a good look for Kimmy mm -hmm. coming down. Uh, they played that, and so JT was the guy that was open. Uh, he had it on line, just didn't knock it down. It's hard to beat anybody. Right. And, and not only that, we don't score, but we don't do a good job on the glass. I mean, you get beat uh, almost 20 some odd rebounds mm -hmm. on the glass. I mean, it's hard to overcome that, and yet it's a three point game. We'll let you know our Missouri Employers Mutual. Player of the week is the uh, young man coach A often calls the heart and soul of his basketball team, J.T. Tiller. The senior from Marietta, Georgia had 5.6 assists in the Tiger win over Oklahoma State, then scored 12 in the game with Texas A&M. M.E.M., the state's number one provider of workers' compensation insurance.